Pairing their laptop with the latest from Intel and Nvidia means that MSI has another ace up its sleeve, resizable bar. This lets the CPU access the entire frame buffer of the graphics card at once, which in theory, should lead to better performance. However, you should keep your BIOS and drivers up to date to receive the best optimization possible. What you can't keep up to date though, is the construction. The beastly hardware sits in chassis with a plastic base and metal lid. The device weighs a bit more than 2 kilos and has a height of almost 24 millimeters. Despite the plastic body, there is no flex anywhere. The keyboard has an RGB backlight on its large keycaps. The key travel is decent, but the feedback is a bit on the soft side. Ultimately, the layout is nice as it includes a number pad, and the arrow keys are not too small either. There are also tons of function buttons, including the turbo one that maxes out the fans, which shares space with the up arrow key. For the input, output, you get a USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 1, 2 Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 as well as a slower Type-A 2.0 port. Other than that, there is a LAN port, an HDMI connector, and an audio jack. Unfortunately, there is no Thunderbolt support or SD card reader. The device is pretty future-proof in terms of upgradability. It has two RAM slots that fit 64GB of memory in total, working in dual-channel mode. Interestingly, this is one of the few devices that still feature a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay. Furthermore, there are two M.2 PCIe X4 slots. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The MSI Pulse GL66 A base display option is a 1080p 144Hz panel. They also offer a 1440p 165Hz panel, but that one is not available with the RTX 3050 and RTX 3050 Ti configurations. The 1080p display offers excellent viewing angles and a good contrast ratio of 1320 to 1. It also has a very good sRGB color coverage of 93%. As we mentioned, it has a 144Hz refresh rate and the pixel response times are also relatively quick. Thankfully, it doesn't use PWM. This makes the screen comfortable for extended periods of use, without presenting excessive harm to your eyesight in this aspect. The 53.5Wh battery delivers pretty disappointing results. Unfortunately, it lasts only 4 hours of web browsing or slightly more than 3 hours of video playback. If you want the best performance, you can get the device with a Core i7-11800H, an 8-core Tiger Lake H45 processor. As for the GPU, the best available option is an RTX 3070. We've bought a unit equipped with the Core i7 CPU and an RTX 3060 GPU with a TGP of 85 watts. Both the CPU and GPU heat up significantly with heavy loads, but despite the high temperatures, the RTX 3060 manages to run Doom Eternal with 160 FPS at Ultra Nightmare settings. Overall, it looks like the GL66A cooling is not the best out there. The laptop gets both loud and warm during gaming, with the hottest point reaching more than 54 degrees Celsius. That being said, if you don't mind the heat, you can play Assassin's Creed Valhalla with almost 50 FPS at ultra settings. In conclusion, the MSI Pulse GL66 is a bit hit and miss. It has great features, like the impressive display and the good upgrade options, but on the other hand, the input-output leaves much to be desired with the lack of Thunderbolt support and the presence of the obsolete USB 2.0 port. The battery is also frankly disappointing. Performance-wise, it does offer the powerful Core i7-11800H processor, but MSI has definitely not done a great job at taming the beast under its chassis. Naturally, this results in high noise and warm externals. This is not something you want on a daily basis and we hope that the manufacturer is going to address this issue sooner rather than later. 
If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.